I'm Anne-Marie Culhane and um, I live in Cornwall and I'm an artist, um, performer and also a curator. Well, my name is Bob Levine, um, I'm an artist based in Sheffield. Um, my work has manifested in lots of different media over the years but I have always had an interest in how um, the technology that we use changes the way we interact with the world. I need to find sort of ways into to being in a place and one of my sort of repeat methodologies is the slow walking. I try and slow down my movements and I try and really get into a kind of the minute eye of that place through changing the pace through which I'm moving. I wanted to make work that explored that contradiction between the very managed time frames that we live in that are all external so they're all dictated by clocks or trains and all of the other things that um, structure our days whereas she's sort of managed to completely escape that. It was just really exciting to see how those two sort of ways of being and working were going to sort of match up together. Working with the iMove programme and the Cultural Olympiad was just a fantastic opportunity in terms of resources and in terms of negotiating and talking to um, UK Athletics and all the athletes that we um, met and were working alongside at the Olympic Training Stadium at Loughborough University. The athlete that we worked with, Leon Baptiste, um, the idea with him, and although he didn't use these words, but was that he would become aware of his own inner landscape as well as the landscape through which um, he was moving. The main shot means um, is done in such a way that the camera is static, he comes into frame, he goes through frame and he leaves frame. To watch it, there's, uh, you know exactly what's going to happen, there's, there's no, there's, there's sort of like, um, there's no surprises, but yet still, when he gets nearer to the end of the frame, it becomes incredibly intense. Um, and that relationship between him sort of upright and very powerful and moving towards the edge means that the edge becomes something really dominant. So it becomes this kind of face-off between him and the end of the screen. And of course nothing happens apart from he gently leaves. But that power and nothingness <laughs> is, is a really interesting kind of dynamic for me. There was this kind of frustration in this process of sort of, yeah, no, that take didn't work because, you know, you could see he sped up and he, he kind of wobbled there. And, and, you know, kind of halfway through this process, it was like, um, what are we doing? He's not a machine. He's a human. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, there was that point where I was just like, well, this is the point, isn't it? These bits where the illusion breaks is just as, if not more important, with the times where you think he, it is the technology doing the slowing down.